everybody. I'm sorry, time kind of got away from me. I didn't realize it was already 6.45. So anyway, Teresa with Reef Addiction RN. Thanks everybody for hopping on. Let me uh, grab my flies, please. And uh, sorry about my hair. I was in the pool. Uh, my bangs are just cuddly. Bangs are just not cooperating with me at all. So I'm ready to uh, cut them again. Sorry, I'm setting up my bot. Facebook's been really crazy. It was really hard for me to even schedule this. It's not going to let me do it. I don't know what's going on. Craziness. Let me try and go back. I don't know if about anybody else, but have you noticed like your your um like pictures aren't showing up on Facebook all of a sudden it's just been kind of crazy and um so I don't know what's going on Facebook, but you know, can't live with it, can't live without it. So anyway, um, if you're interested in knowing when I go live, if you didn't get a, um, a message, type live in the comments and then my, the bot will send you a message to your messenger and you type yes. So that's how that works. So we're going to make, um, starting on a, it's a slag and um, I, I started some of it already because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough. This was a roll that I had already started so we learned how to um, hygiene. So anyway, well, I don't see a Kate so I don't know who Kate is but hi Kate, thanks for watching. Somebody must see you. So anyway, so Lori told us how to, uh, from her working mom, how to take a round greenery and smash it so we can make a swag. So that's what I started doing. And then I'm going to use um, this orange and green to make ruffles. So I cut some of those. So I don't know really how many I'm going to need. I may have to cut more. But I'm also going to put this cute little adorable spider on this. I've never used these before. So here, oh, that's how you're going to attach it. Cool. So anyway, isn't she adorable? Isn't she adorable? The best spider ever. So anyway, so she's going to go at the top. And um, we'll make her front like that. So cute, cute, cute. So anyway, so I'm looking at ribbon. And I'm just not sure. Um, which ribbon? Spider ribbon. Or maybe not spider ribbon. Hi Harless, how are you? So um, anyway, I'm going to do some, some of that. Thanks for joining me. Anyway, isn't the spider adorable? I meant to go and I don't know if it'll let me Share to page. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to figure find the group. See if it'll let me. Um, there we go. 
So anyway, yeah, I'm hoping it turns out good because, you know, this is a, it's a cute little spider, so I think it's going to turn out good. Uh, so anyway, I think we're going to put the spider and then get a bow and some ribbon. So anyway, yeah, and I'm just trying to figure out ribbon, so we'll look at that in a minute. Derek can make some such cute, cute items, so. Um, so anyway, so I am not measuring this at all. I'm just pulling this around. I zip tied it in the back to hold them together. I didn't think they were gonna go anywhere anyway. Hey, Shaylin, how are you? Hi, Helen. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I just, uh, my son just moved out, and uh, so I'm actually like spreading back out again. I'm like so excited I can breathe. I moved a lot of my picks away, and then you just realize too how much stuff you have. So I was telling, talking to myself and saying, okay, Teresa, do not buy any more signs or things, you know. I mean, try and use up what you have. I have a good stock full of mesh over there. Um, I probably need some more like 21 inch mesh, but definitely do not need any more 10 inch mesh. If you could see my mesh over there, you would think I didn't need to buy anything. So, Lachelle, is that how you say your name? From Richmond, Virginia. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. So, I'm so, I wish so much I could go to the Wreath Makers Live, but I just can't. I just, I need to stay and I need to get some more crafts done. We may take a little vacation, like a couple of days and just go to, hi Marie, go down to Branson or something. So, so I'm just, so I watched Lori's video again before I, started on this so I could just see again how things were done so I'm not sure I went through some of my other mesh I may have another roll of purple that we can use in here as well so one thing with this is that it doesn't take a whole roll of 21 inch mesh to do or even a portion I mean this I'd already use this for something I don't know something Halloween I'm sure because um, so. you do want to go down the center as well so we'll see Kathy, how are you? Oh, good. So, like I said, I'm, I know I have some more purple, so I'm just, I'm not cutting this. I'm just going to go down the center here and just pick a couple of um, ties to pick to tie this with. to my stash and see what I have over there. I did, uh, I sorted through, I tell you what, I don't know about anybody else, but I find it's hardest to store the stuff after you. Hi Shirley from Orlando. Hi Courtney. I said the spider was from Derica. Derica's designs, I got her card right here. Let me pull that out. Let's just try to find that other. It's called um, on Facebook. She's Derek of Designs and Wreaths and Wreath Accents on Facebook. But 
I've never done any of her things before, but if you've watched Scott, Scott does quite a few of them, and um, I think Damon may have done some of them as well. Yes, I'm doing Halloween, and let me run over here real quick, I'm sorry. Probably just going to need another loop. With that color on my TV or my monitor, sure doesn't look purple, it looks blue. This clearly is purple. So I'm just going to make another loop here. I'm going to tie this one in the same place that I just put this last one. And um, I will like hide it and so that these raw edges are not sticking out. Put that down through the bottom here and uh, zip tie it as well, probably till it will um, not fall out. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, she's got such cute things. Super, super cute things. There was one, there's a couple signs I didn't, I forgot to show you guys, and I still haven't pulled them out of the bag yet that I purchased from convention, so. I did get, I went to Scott's, um, where did I go there, Friday afternoon after work, and I, uh, I purchased some more Halloween ribbon, and then my, my, uh, shipment came in from Sims, so, like I said, I am pretty well set for Matt, a ribbon for sure, for Halloween. So I probably have enough. So I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna make, this is a, going to be another Halloween piece. I don't know exactly what I was gonna possibly put that spider on this, but I changed my mind. But I made this, this is out of a um, paint stirrer. I painted it black and then I added um, pipe cleaners to it. So I actually probably have enough mesh to go along the outside of this possibly. We'll see, or maybe a center. So I will definitely be using this um, leftover mesh for that. And those um, are really good for leftover mesh because they really don't take a lot of mesh. Um, I also have a smaller one I may use. This is actually made out of a yardstick. Peabody, Massachusetts or Maine? I'm bad with um, my state. Um, initials, I'm sorry. So um, this is made out of a uh, yardstick and I cut it and it is, um, this is 18 inches long. So and it'll still be like 24 inches long by the time I get my mesh on there. So this is another possibility but I'm going to make several Halloween swags just because they're so fun and uh, alright so, oops that one fell off. So, um, I want to do like a ruffle cruffle type thing, like roll the ends a little bit. This mesh here is like, I hate this mesh, I can't say hate it. It's from um, Michaels and it's longer than everything else and I didn't, I bought this when I first started. Hi Anna! Hang on one second, I dropped off some stuff.
Sorry guys, so I didn't realize. Hi Mel, how are you? I didn't realize that there was a big difference like between 10 and 12 inch mesh. So I got this from Michaels and I just have to say that I just basically have been using it now for filler because it just, you can't mix them. It's not good to mix these with the um, 10 inch. It just doesn't work right, so. So I haven't really decided if I was going to do, um, I want to try and, if I'm going to do like green and orange in the same tie, or if I'm just going to do green and alternate. So let's just see. Thank you, Joy. I'm sorry. I'm using a, um, this was a circle. Um, greenery that I got from Walmart last year for two dollars so something else fell I'm just who knows what that was so I didn't pick up near enough so if they have those on sale this year after um, what, what frame did you get that Jan uh, Janelle it is um, the round greenery that I picked up from Walmart last year and then um, I um, just smushed it in and made a swag. Does everybody see that? You know, and so like Damon has done that multiple times and Scott as well. Um, and you know, this is one good way of keeping your cost down um, on your on your item. Oh, I like that. I think. What do you guys think? Like that? I'm probably gonna have to cut some more. Mel, are you going to, uh, oh, thank you. Um, Mel, are you going to Wreath Makers Live? I didn't realize Casey was going, but she posted a thing saying if they want to meet for a meal, so. Did you guys go swimming? Yeah. Oh. Is the pool still warm? It's getting a little chilly, but. Was it? It's all good still. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. We're going to take off. All right, son. Bye, dear. Have a good day. I will. Love you. Good luck. Have a good day at your new job tomorrow. Give me a long one. I may have a Oh, good for you, Mel. I, I expect a lots of lives from you guys that are going, just like I did whenever I was at Crafters Convention. So, so I really want to see. I'm just really curious at like how if it's different than what Scott's is, you know. So, good deal. Lots of lives, right, Mel? So we said thank you, Courtney. I tell you what, I just, I don't know, I just love making wreaths, you know, I really do, because like every time, like I can remember just like two weeks ago, I was making a 4th of July or patriotic one, I'm like, oh man, they always just turn out so good, and then next one you're making is a Halloween, I made a super duper cute Halloween one that's upstairs, and um, I'm trying to figure out a way to take good pictures, and so anyway, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, gosh, I just love that one too, and <laughs> that like, so, yeah, I finally did actually hang something up on my door, uh, patriotic. I just had a wreath that I was playing around with, had some flowers on it and stuff, and I really didn't like the way it looked. I thought, all right, I'll just shove it on my front door. It was... You went to the... Did you go to Wreath Makers Live last year, too? Good for you. I, that's my goal next year is to go. Go there, so... That's my goal for next year. Oh, 
thanks. And I, um, who was it? Um, Anna Hernandez, I do believe she bought um, a um, witch hat for me. And she told me that she was able to find someone to help her with signs. So that was, I just really felt like that was very good. I was so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know it. So yeah, so um, I went shopping at Scott's store. I love it. I'm so excited and scared at the same time. You went to a crafters convention last year, Mel? Is that what you did then? I should, too bad I didn't know you then because I mean, still, even though I didn't go, I could have met with you guys because like I said, I only live a few minutes away from there, so. I almost went to the pajama party, but then um, I was like, oh, I kind of felt odd, so. You may have to type alert separate, April. Thank you. For, where are you from, April? So, um, I got out my Christmas ribbon today, and it's all stacked up on this table. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit it on the shelf so that I can actually see what I have. Um, I put all of my, um, oh, you know, yeah, I tell you what, I'm like, that's just like way too close for comfort, but I'm just going to have to, to, um, exercise restraint, correct? So, but yeah, um, I did go and I'll show you some of the ribbon that I got from him, um, which I know his uh, his link is open today, which is good. So his um, his online store. So if you need stuff, he had a live going today. Um, so his shop is open. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So let's see. So um, I got this from Scotts. Boo and Yeek, and then um, I got this green one, and I also ended up, I didn't realize it, but I also got that from Sims as well, so I have a couple of those. Aww. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that recent. Um, Mel, my prayers are out to you. Um, yeah, the pajama party was a lot bigger, I guess, maybe this year. I don't know. Did you get, did the alert work, April? Um, if it's not, let me know and I'll see if I can fix the mini chat thing. I don't know if it's working. I know, I got more. Um, I got home, I don't remember, I, like I said, I went ahead and opened my Sims thing because I'm like, I don't know, does everybody like it whenever you open your packages? I like to watch what people get. Sometimes it makes me very envious. But um, I thought, man, I feel like as all I've been doing is showing you all the stuff that I've purchased and I haven't made anything. So I decided to go ahead and just open it up and put it away. Ten years. Doesn't make it any easier. My dad's been gone for, he died the week before Christmas in 89. So just doesn't really get even though you have the new normal you still miss them you know you still miss them and I can't imagine losing my husband I think about that often you know so my mother-in-law so so I'm sure it is I'm sure so is that why you're are you're moving right didn't you say you're moving somewhere you were so, packing up and selling right are you going to a different town or just to a different home So now I'm not even sure what ribbon I want to put on this, but we'll figure it out. But oh my gosh, I am loving this. Oh my gosh, so super cute. I don't know why, like I said, it looks blue on my thing. So hey Casey, 
So you get to go to Wreath Makers Live. I am so jealous. I expect a lot of live videos. My first name is Teresa. I have, I don't know if you can see it on my shirt, but I have these shirts made for convention. <laughs> I have one made for my husband and one made for me. Of course, he did not like his as well. He didn't like how big our name was on there. So anyway, but I'm like, well, whenever we went to the business day, I wanted them to know my business name and my name. So I wanted my business name and my name right there on the front. So that was the deal. To Fort Wayne, Indiana. I didn't get on the call today. We're actually in the pool. I didn't get on the business call today. I wish I would have, but um, I really missed that because we didn't have one last week because we were at the convention. Hi, June from Ohio. Thanks for joining. Casey, I didn't see you respond. Are you going, you're so lucky you're getting to go to Wreath Makers Live. You better do some live videos. I want to see that. I want to see what it's like. There's supposed to be like 800 some odd people there. You live in six. Idaho. Oh. All righty. I need to cut some more, I do believe. One thing I can say is that don't be shy. Go up to people because if you're really wanting to be successful, oh man. Kind of a bummer. I have two together. It's your business, so if you want to meet somebody, meet them. They don't care. Tammy Hodges, she was there. She was very good. Um, I think Lauren Kilmore will probably be there. She'll be talking about Etsy probably. That was very informational. Um, of course, Lori did her talk on YouTube, which was very good as well. My husband really enjoyed uh, Lori and Damon uh, both um, from business standpoint. I wish I had one more so I didn't have to have two oranges together, but oh well. That's just kind of the way it is. Let's see if I can get a green up there. We did have people that talked about the cricket, so I really would like to get some more training on that, that's for sure. I need to get in some of the groups. Rachel, um, I met Rachel, and she was telling me, you know, to probably get into a couple of groups even before we buy. That way I can kind of see what they're doing. I just haven't taken the time to do that. I probably need to do that. All right, so let's see, one orange and maybe a green. Let's try that. All right, maybe go here. So I painted these and I sprinkled some glitter on them. I haven't decided if I'm going to try and make um, a couple of watermelon things to add to my watermelon wreath or if I'm going to use those. I thought those looked kind of cute as ornaments, so I thought those were kind of neat. So these are 20 inches long. I 
after I use up these two, that's all I have for like fall. I have a lot of spring colors. I did not do very well at using it for spring. My mesh holder, my son made me before I ever decided to do this as a business and I was just doing it for fun. So he made it, but um, Susie Brown, Susie's um, mesh holder, oh my gosh, is awesome. I'll put the link in the bottom. It's an affiliate link. Um, I do get a few cents for referring people if you purchase. Not very much. But um, yeah, I did see those this weekend. Um, in fact, I probably have, a, have it in my videos, one of my videos that I did uh, from the convention. And I mean, it is really awesome. So I am saving up, but right now I'm trying to, like I said, just buy the necessities of ribbon and things like that and trying not to give a bunch of different supplies, but her mesh, rib, mesh holder, is, holder is awesome. Let's see. I'm so bad at this thing. Microsoft Word. I am having a lot of issues. It would not let me write a title in my thing. I don't know, now I'm frozen. My computer is frozen. now let's see yeah it says my video is interrupting I'm having issues with Facebook I don't know if that worked right or not. Are, am I frozen for you guys? Because my video, it says I'm frozen. I may have to go over to YouTube as well. I need to start doing that. I haven't never done a video, a live video on YouTube yet. I need to do that because it says I'm frozen. So are you guys seeing me? I'll watch my phone for comments. Live video has ended, it says. It's working fine, yeah, well, I don't know what's going on. I know, Harless, that is true. I don't know what the deal is. I really don't. Um, I mean, like I posted some pictures of stuff because um, I, uh, was trying to, um, you know, just do some engagement things that we do, you know, to grow our business. And it's like my pictures went not post, it was awful. And now it's like just being awful again, so. So, I don't know, it still shows up here that I'm live, but on my phone, but I don't know if I really am, so. I'll just keep going for a few minutes. Let's see. Well, it says I'm live. Alrighty. Well, good, Carolyn. Thank you. Hi, Darlene. Thank you. I'm Dixie. How are you? So, alright. So, here we have, this is the base. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it.
All right, so let's see here. This is the Halloween box. So this one came from Sims, isn't that cute? So I'm gonna definitely do something witchy with that one. And then, um, like I said, this one I ended up ordering from Sims as well. I didn't realize that I was getting that. I didn't realize, remember. So when I got this one from Scott as well. So this pile over here is Scott. This pile is Sims. Um, this came from Sims. Um, so I got another one of these from Scott. So I have two of those now. And there's a really cute one. So then I got another one of these from Scott. So I have two of those as well. So I think that's going to be a good one. But look at this cute candy cane. I have to show you this. Candy cane, candy corn, candy corn, not candy cane. Somebody catch that? So look at this mesh. Isn't that going to make the most adorable wreath, right? I can't wait. So anyway, um, I put some over there already. So I got this one came from Scott as well. Let's see. I think that was about it. Um, I kind of did this one for Halloween and uh, for my granddaughter because the colors of Gillespie are black and orange, so I want to do something for her. So this came from Sims. And then um, this one also came from Sims. And then this one was from Scott, and I got this one at the convention, so. So, let's see. I have this spider, but I don't know if I like that. Looking for spider ribbon just to decide. Like. I really want to find some more of this. I love that. All right, so let's see. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. I kind of have this one picked out. I, just, I think the spider is like too super cute to, to put some of that spider ribbon. I don't know. I mean, this isn't a scary spider. This is a cute spider. So I'm not sure I'm going to do any spider ribbon. You know, do you agree? Give me a thumbs up if you agree that, you know, like this is not for for this spider. Let me pull it out. You think that, you know, like this is not meant for this spider. Or do you think it would be okay? I don't know. Oh, no, don't use it. Kind of takes away from the cuteness of it, doesn't it? That's more of a scary spider. I think it's more scary.
tell you what, I don't know about you guys, but it's really hard to, um, I think this is going to go perfectly. It's really hard. This is a, um, like a bad time of year, I think. A lot of people are, um, I mean, a lot of, a lot of Halloween ribbon is already out. Let's see. something sparkly so um, I need to get more sparkly ribbon for Halloween wouldn't it? What about these two? Sheena. Hi Amanda. You love the green and the sparkle. I just said I'm not going to buy anything else. But I really don't have a lot of sparkly ribbon. And you have to have, I know I'm not spider adorable, but you have to have sparkly ribbon, especially for Halloween. So, I'll have to watch. But Craft Outlet was about out of everything. I don't know if anybody else has found out that as well for Halloween. Um, I guess maybe I need to look at the wreath shop because I think they had a bunch of stuff. So maybe I need to go there. I haven't worked, worked there yet. Spider is adorable. Uh, 
So is anybody working on any crafts tonight? I um, when I've made several Halloween things, I just can't get into the fall season. I don't know why. I had something out to make, and then I just every time I go over to make it, I'm just not feeling it. Maybe it's because Halloween, Halloween is so much funny. You're a CNA? Yep. Hard work. You need your rest. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate you. I probably won't be able to be on tomorrow night. I have to, I'm on call tomorrow night, so so no no crafting for me. I'm gonna try and work on some stuff on my Etsy page and maybe get some pictures taken tomorrow. some ribbon in see where we're at because I don't want to put ribbon I don't want to put ribbon in where maybe a bow is going to be maybe I should have made the bows first My what big spiders. I actually have a bigger one. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna use to make that one. This is the smaller one, and Derek also has this bigger one. Here's the bigger one. You take it out of the bag. See how big it was anyway. Just gives me a reason to actually undo it. <laughs> Look at those boots. Cute. So oh, so cute. And this one has like two things for you to attach it to the um, to the wreath. I love it. Super super cute. I need to order a frame, a reframe to make that one on. Yeah, super cute. Probably need to make that one on a uh, elevated, you know, wreath frame. Get maybe purple or orange or black, something like that.
So if you would bless my page, I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps me grow my business. And there was one of them that didn't work right. If you think someone might be interested in what you're seeing, please tell them about me. So I take them, I fold them in half, and then I sit them down on the table, and then I go where I folded it, and I crinkle it together, and then I try and fold them. And then I kind of make them bow out a little bit. Thank you, Janelle. I appreciate it. I am going to get a longer table back here so that this table will go all the way out. And um, I think that's gonna help me with my craft area right here, my space. So I just feel like I don't have enough room. So it's pretty much the only thing I'm gonna do like organizing wise for a while. So what do you think? you like it? Um, it's actually, it was a, um, a greenery that I um, bit to make it into a swag. and thumbs up. Thanks everybody. I appreciate it. I think it's turned out super, super cute. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. Oh, this one needs to be fixed. Sometimes my ends don't because when you cut too many ribbons at once, you don't get that point. So I always take, make sure I look at those. Um, I use partial rolls. Um, I had leftover purple. It was probably it was probably about this thick of what I used, and I went around and I didn't really measure, um, but I just went around the edge and in the center. So maybe I had a couple more rolls on it. 
And then, uh, then I found this one because I just had to use one more loop in the center there. And then I used, this was from um, Michael's that I bought like when I first started making wreaths and I really didn't know the difference between my mesh. So that those are 12 inch lengths. And so I just cut those and made curls, uh, ruffle and curl basically. I curled the ends and then I did the ruffle technique. So I'm trying to get rid of that mesh. And those were both opened, I do believe. I don't know if I'd actually used anything or if I opened them and then not used them. I don't really remember. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green and probably seven or eight orange as well. So, and they're at 20, I cut those at 20 inches. You're welcome, Katie. Hope that answered your question. Trying to get faster at this. Not very fast. Thank you for the blessing. I appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much. That's probably why I haven't done YouTube because I know they don't like to be on long and they don't want a lot of talking and so it's not really. Simba, how are you? Thanks for joining. All right, I need to cut a few more. One, two, three. Sorry, I'm thinking. 
thinking about embellishments and about making my own embellishments. So if I get a chance to stop at Walmart tomorrow and pick up a couple of things, I will maybe we'll do something on a live on Tuesday and see if it's gonna work. We'll try it out together. How's that? And it should be pretty inexpensive, but I think it could be super, super duper cute. Just, I don't know, popped into my head. And I don't think it'll take a lot. So that's the thing, you know, sometimes making your own embellishments is um, <laughs> probably not the, you know, if it's gonna take a lot, it's probably easier and cheaper to buy them, but I don't think this will really take much. So why not? Give it a whirl. we want like her in the center and then do a bow. I don't want to hide her. We can do a bow above her. I've never attached one of these before, so we shall see how this is going to go. I cut, I only did the outs, outside, I didn't do the center. So, let's see. I have one, two, three, let's see, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Yeah, because I did cut twelve of these and I have eleven. Yep, eleven. I'm just using a skewer because the bow got caught, of course, on some mesh and pulled the loop. So I'm just seeing if I can pull it back through. Oh, 
There we go. Perfect. I'm trying to stay this off of here so I figure out what I'm going to do with this because I know I'm going to need um, some extensions on there, I do believe. So let's make a bow. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd order two of those now. Of course. I have carpet tails, I have the perfect tails, these are the tiny tails, and I have the big ones. So. And I love them. Actually, I have an affiliate link for that as well. If anybody's interested. Okay, so let's see. I actually think like my go-to black one because it's my 50 yard roll uh, you order the perfect tails through soul sisters is where I got mine mine are through the soul sisters I'll put my link I'll put my link up there for you. See if it's going to work now. Last time I did this, that's whenever things froze up. <laughs> So I think, I don't know, kind of like this one because it kind of matches that. Just gonna go with six inches. Let's see. Now that's gonna be a pretty wide bow. I think that'll be wide enough.
so you take it and and you twist. Some people like figure out their their six inch mark and then they gather it and then twist. I don't have good luck with that. It's probably better to do it that way. I just keep practicing. Oh, hi, Renee. Hi, Connie from Michigan. Thanks for joining. We're making this little spider here. And I used a, um, a greenery that I sm smashed, basically I is just not wanting to cooperate with me today. I'm not cutting it. Hi, Karen. I love Lori, too. Yeah, her video. Um, so, like, that was something that she taught us in our uh, wreath steroid group. So, if you, um, wreath therapy on steroids. So, if you're interested in that group, I can also post that link as well. If you're not in a a group that helps with um, design. I like it because a lot of times it triggers thoughts of my own as well. So,
much, Ethel. I appreciate that. Thank you. See what we can figure out with this dude. Right, I know these are going to go in here, like so, just holding it there, so let me figure out how I should do this. I did that look different because I want my lettering to be out. Hi Deb, how are you? I heard you guys were shopping at Scott's too. I was there Friday after work. That place is going to break me. I put my pipe cleaner underneath my zip tie. I kind of moved my 
loops around where I think I want them. I could play with ribbon all day, so I just keep messing with it. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I do. And then I just pull it tight. And then I try that. I've lost my tools. There we go. And then I'll cut this off. And let's see. Spiders got orange. Let me see if I have some orange. I do. So I'm going to stick some orange around that just so that, um, and I usually cut about 10 inches. And this is cheap, cheap, non wired ribbon that you get from Dollar Tree. And uh, I just fold it nice and tight make a little thin go between your area here so basically you're just covering up your zip tie you may not be able to see it but if your ribbon ever does you know like it a little more relaxed you don't want that zip tie showing so so I just take it and tie it Oh, thanks, Joy. Yeah. Oh, thanks for watching. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. So, alrighty. Let's move this out of the way. I may do another bow. I don't know. But right now, I'm going to do this one. So... So I'm going to like push some of these greenery things down so they're not really showing. You really can't even tell that I made this on a uh, greenery base. So for those of you that came in late, this was a round greenery that I purchased from Walmart at the end of the season last year. That was two dollars. So I know you, uh, some of you people have probably seen Damon do that. So it's basically just what I did. But I learned that um, Lori Jacobs did something in our training of, in the group that I'm in, the design group that I'm in. So. I did not put any ribbon ties in the center because I'm going to have my bow. Alright, so this is the bottom.
pretty sure I'm going to have to make some extensions onto these dudes. So when I make extensions, I just add it on. I try and make it as um, so that like it doesn't get caught on the um, mesh when you're trying to poke it through. I got the spider from Derrica's. Derricka's Designs, she's on Facebook, uh, Derricka's Designs, and Wreath Accents. Let's see where this little lady's gonna go. One thing about this mesh is that she sure does get caught on those. I'm going to pull that in just a little bit more. You don't want your bow sunk down. So, but it's kind of it's pretty loose. So, I still have to cut my tails. Okay. Not sure I'm attaching her right, but let's see.
Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. Thank you, Chastity. I love the colors too. This purple, green, and orange just really is like so excited about it. Trying to make sure I get her tight enough in there, but not too tight. There we go. Let's get the other one attached. So I think I'm going to put her kind of cockeyed. What do you think? Maybe I'll put another bow in there then. Aggravating. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you. Make sure I can still get her cockeyed in there. Kind of hard to see back there. she looks. I need to get my table better. Sorry, but I kind of have to look at her. I need to do like some of these other people. I need to get a board. There we go. Move her legs out a little bit. Like I said, I know that bow has got to be fixed. I may actually do another bow. Move that one over and do two bows on the bottom. Sorry, guys. There we go. Where's 
Thanks everybody. I appreciate it. I think it turned out super cute as myself. I wish it would sit here, but it won't. So. Thanks everybody. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So if you want an alert whenever I go live, Thanks, Harless. Um, type live in the comments and the bot will send you a message to let you know that I'm live. So. so anyway, so I will be back on probably Tuesday night. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed everybody being with me tonight. Um, if you have any questions, send a message and I'll answer them. And uh, we'll make something. Oh, I might try to do Christmas on Tuesday. So. We'll see. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thanks. See you next. See you on Tuesday. Have a great week. Have a blessed Monday and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, guys.